I guess we can't. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Detour Ahead, everybody's favorite official Weeaboo podcast where we talk about anime because we're big nerds, nerd emojis all around. This is the Nerd Emoji Podcast, that's what they call us. Um, I am your... <laughs> I'm your host, Riley, of course, joined by the other host of this fine program, Kolo Chu. This very, very fine establishment. Yes. <laughs> when you're here, you're family. Endless breadsticks. <laughs> That's so dumb. Just for you. Just for you. Endless breadsticks. Endless breadsticks and a very shiny penny. One whole very shiny penny, and at the end, they give you like a little chocolate mint at the end. So they do it all of Garden. Those things slap. The fucking chocolate mints from Olive Garden, bro. They're on some ascended type shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, dude, I I don't think I've had their little mints. They're pretty good, dude. I haven't been to Olive Garden in ever. I would recommend Olive Garden. Olive Garden is pretty good. Last time I went there, I had I had quite a good meal. So, Colo, how's your week been? Uh, my week has been great. Um, not much has changed since Tuesday. Uh- <laughs> yeah, Tuesday when we recorded the last one, which did come out on time because I'm cool that way. Not not much has changed since Tuesday. Um. Just, I guess, just kind of vibing, working and shit. Yeah, I'm, f- I'm feeling fucked up today. Are you high, drunk, or both? Just high. Being drunk would require walking to the store, and that wasn't going to happen today. I did. I ate a lot of Chinese food. There's a Chinese buffet very close to me, and I did go there for lunch. And then I napped for like four hours. And now for the past four hours, I've just been, like, meandering and watching TV and listening to podcasts. But I feel like it's all just slipped away, and I've, like, mini-napped through half of it, and it feels like it's been an hour since, like, five o'clock. <laughs> oh, man. No, See, I've I'm been at, hanging... I'm having a little I've, bit of a rough one. I've just been hanging with friend all day. That's basically it. That's all I've been doing. Getting ice cream and chilling out all day. Chilling out with the crew in the schoolyard. Shooting some b ball outside the school. (laughs) You see, I was making Yu Gi Oh GX, but uh, the Fresh Friends of Bel Air works too. Chilling out with the crew in the schoolyard, finding trouble. See, I didn't watch GX. You didn't watch GX. No, I watched OG. Actually, my, my sin as a Yu-Gi-Oh fan is literally the only Yu-Gi-Oh show that I've watched more than, like, ten episodes of is GX. Like, I watched the first two seasons all the way through and, like, a little bit of the third season of GX. And that's the only Yu-Gi-Oh I've watched. So my, 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 seen... my Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist is Jade and Yuki. My boy. My homie. See, I watched the original, so... There is a filler episode where Jaden duels a like super monkey, and the super monkey beats Jaden in a duel. That's, <laughs> that's an episode of New Yo GX. He's a real smart monkey. He's a real good at Yu Gi Oh. What if you trained a monkey to play a card game? You probably could. I wonder if they have that type of like broad visual understanding of things like shapes and colors. Science cast. Science cast. Shapes, <laughs> colors, prisms, rainbows. Rainbows? Whoa. Science? Science, science rainbows? rainbows? My favorite type of rainbows are science rainbows. Fucking love science rainbows. What comes up if you search science rainbows? <laughs> I don't know, man. What the, that's an interesting question that you're posing to the world right now. Oh, you get a whole bunch of graphs and shit instead of just regular oh, fun shit. pictures. Oh man, hold on. I Everyone's know that I know this graphs. is a cardinal sin, but like 
This is what you get. I posted in Detroit Head podcast. It's literally just a graph, but like none of that makes any sense to me. What's sunlight, the reflect the sunlight, total internal reflection, refraction, raindrops, dispersion. Um, man sees rainbow, red at top, blue at bottom. Wow. That's, That's interesting. Wild. That's, That's crazy, a science bro. rainbow, dude. That's a science rainbow right there <laughs> like, that's the most intelligent <laughs> rainbow i've ever experienced in all of my life <laughs> science rainbows science rainbows huh? um huh? so i i did a thing okay there's a youtube video going up right now yo well, for you guys listening uh it'll already been up on saturday but uh, as of recording, it's getting uploaded right now. It's not Pokemon related. Holy shit, that's wild. And it doesn't involve Gage, Val, or anybody from the podcast. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you did a tier list with your sister. It's not a tier list either. <laughs> I can't believe you did a YouTube video with your dad. <laughs> This is a brand new <laughs> video to the Koichi YouTube channel. How interesting. Uh, if, if, some of you were lo- if some of you actually do follow the YouTube channel 24-7, you would have seen that there was a live stream. Uh, I did see the notification for that. I was way too late, but I did eventually see it. Well, it is currently unlisted, and it will not be put back up. Um, is it stream- unlisted or private? It's unlisted, so if you have the link, you can watch it. It's like 16 minutes, but it's unlisted What's right now. So, uh, stream quality is fucking terrible, which is why hey. I decided to record instead of live stream. Um, but when are we me, gonna play Sonic Unleashed? I don't know. I gotta find some time. We gotta do some Super Sonic time. But uh. I played Phasmophobia for the first time. I saw that. Phasmophobia was super popular like three years ago. I remember that game. Yeah, back in 2020. They updated it. I, I was trying to watch some like videos on Markiplier's channel to be like, okay, I kind of understand this. Hopped in, died immediately. <laughs> but Rest in peace, Kolochu. It's not like a super high energy video, but like I just want to see if it does well kind of video. Okay, um, okay. So, it's cool. Uh OBS cut cut like the last like 10 minutes of the video so you don't see us actually leave, which kind of sucks, but It's fine. It's all right. Happens it's not the best. It's not my best vid- it's not my best video, but not your I, best work, but it's passable, you know. You know. It's enough to be like, okay, amateur YouTuber with less than 100 100- Hundred subscribers. This is all right. This is excusable. You ever but. think it's wild how many years we've been doing this versus how much attention we get? We're not going to get into that. <laughs> We're not going to get into that. Don't worry. I got plans. I got plans to market my shit out. Like, break do the we, ash. Can we sustain the the audience? Ash. Are we huh? entertaining? I we're entertaining. My sister is not a nerd at all, and she thinks our podcast is funny. Okay. She's not a nerd. I think, I, I think I'm just phobic about audio quality because I know, I know you can hear my AC. I wanted to turn it off, but like it is Florida, and it's I couldn't <laughs> do that. It um, occasionally pops up. Like I just heard it there, and then it stopped. So like it's not like constantly going. Yeah, Your little it's like, microphone it's, it's, it's is not rough. constantly going. It's not. It's not that intrusive. I listen to podcasts where it's worse. I think I just like. And now I have, because I've worked with audio editing, I think I traumatized myself because I didn't know there were bots available that would do good things for you. Um, And I used to, every podcast I edited, go through like meticulously and delete all of the silences manually. And like whenever I saw like even a little like sound wave blip, I would always like check it out. And if it was a noise, I would cut it out. Um, And that shit would take me, like, seven hours. That's Um, ridiculous. Now I just use a robot that cuts out all the silences, and then the podcasts are pretty much perfect. Like, maybe there's a noise or two, but who fucking gives a shit? Um, And it's great. 
But no, our podcast is not unlistenable. No, for sure. But anyway, anyway, back to the YouTube. I did I the Pokemon YouTube Colo Chew person did a video without anybody. We got shit. Just, just him. Just him, baby. I just realized since they showed up on YouTube, they now get YouTube buddy roles. Who gets YouTube buddy roles? The two random people that joined this join my Discord. Oh shit. They they were on your stream? Yeah. Or your stream or your video? Both. It's coming. Okay. Both. Yeah. Absolute nar. But um yeah, I'm excited. I wanna play more Faz. Um so maybe more videos of that coming. I've been wanting to like branch out from Pokemon, not completely get rid of Pokemon. Ch- YouTube. Ch- I need to figure out like fun, good videos to do. I had, I had a thought about doing movie commentaries. That's like a genre of YouTube video where like they'll cut together, like they'll do a movie commentary and then they'll like cut it together into like yeah. a video. Uh, but I feel like Jason will charge me a premium for that or just not do it. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, but I think I might want to try that. You can always I wanna... ask, too. I, yeah, I'll ask him. I'll figure it out. I might want to try to get a couple of my friends uh, who have never seen the movie Juno, which is my favorite live-action movie of all time, and do a commentary track. <laughs> but uh, you want to talk about Naruto? Great fucking segue, dude. Great segue. Dude, oh, dude 10 bro. out of fucking 10, dude. 10 Homie? out of fucking 10. Um, I have not seen all of Naruto. I thought you have. Nope. Nope. I, I, I stopped. I've seen all of original Naruto, not Shippuden. Oh, fuck. You can spoil it, dude. I've been spoiled on fucking Naruto for so long. It's okay. fine. So like, you, know the, you know the Shippuden stuff, at least. For the most part, I'm sure there's some things where I'm just like, oh man, I didn't actually know that. But like, I've I've been spoiled on the Shinobi War and everything like that. The Shinobi so, like, War is the worst arc in Naruto, anyway. Like, the- I am at the very, very end, like the last episode or two of the Pain arc. Pain, Pain is pure Kino. Pain was a great arc. Uh, the Great Ninja War is like where the the author like had like a wife and kid or something. Like, he was not as invested in Naruto as he used to be. Um, and the ending is very, like, shoddy and not great. <laughs> I mean, fair. Um, no, I just, I, I haven't been in the mood to watch Naruto. I know enough about it to be like, yeah, I can own these these pops or, like, have hold a conversation about Naruto. It's just I have not finished it enough. Yeah, my favorite Naruto arc is a pretty late one. Let's see, you, you haven't seen this. This is after Pain. Um, so it's, uh, it's uh, the catch-up for you, Kolochu, the boot camp. Um, the, the Five Kage Summit arc is my favorite arc of Naruto. And what that is, is... Oh, isn't know, that where... Uh, ba-doo, 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 Donzo? Donzo yes, takes Donzo. Over? Donzo is the main like bad guy of that arc, except... The protagonist you're following. So <laughs> he, but not really, though. He never makes it that far. But, uh. No, have... see, it's funny. So, what. So, you know the, uh, SpongeBob mocking theme? Or meme? Yes. Yeah, it's that. But with the word, like, every other letter capitalized saying sixth Hokage. Yeah. So, like, so I realize arc, he's not the... I, I get that he's not the actual 6th Hokage. But I also know the 6th Hokage is Kakashi. Which is wild. I, I, I have not quite gotten to, like, when that happens. Uh, but... And then isn't 7 Naruto? And Baruto? Yes. Yeah. So, see, Wait, I, I know thought, enough. I, maybe I Naruto... haven't watched any of this. I haven't watched any of this, but, like, I know... About things, so I can. Maybe I can Naruto hold a was the eighth Hokage. Was I'm making this up? This isn't real. But I was thinking maybe Konohamaru was the seventh. <laughs> no, Konohamaru is probably the one who's going to be the ninth. Oh, yeah, he's probably going to be after Naruto. Possibly, yeah, probably. 
if they ever decide to kill Naruto off in Bard. I'm not shocked they haven't done yet. Dude, Naruto looks like a bitch in Bard, though. There's like there's like meme footage from like way back in like 2016 from a Monkey Jones video that I think about whenever I think about Boruto, uh, where it's just like for a comedy bit he went inside like a bookstore and was secretly filming, and he was in the manga section, and then some dude just started talking to him about Boruto, and he was like, "In Boruto, Naruto is dead." <laughs> And he, he, he just, like, sounds very confident about it, even though it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the Five Kage Summit arc is Donzo is, like, the antagonist. But I guess kind of who you're following for a lot of it is Sasuke. Um, and Sasuke has gone, like, full dark-sided, doesn't care about a single human soul. He's just completely fueled by revenge. Um, it's literally, like... All of the politicians of the ninja world gather, all of the Kages, and like they're gonna induct the Donzo as the sixth Hokage. Um, and Sasuke and like his Akatsuki buddies break is in. That, is that where he goes and gets his Akatsuki friends? No, this was way after that. He gets his Akatsuki friends, he saves them from Orochimaru, and then they get then they get recruited into the Akatsuki. Um, and now they're His still working group. for the Akatsuki, I think. But, like, they're more ragtag. Yeah, his little ragtag group. So, yeah, him and him and them, they break in. Yeah. Um, and they just start, like, beating people up and killing people. And they, like, fight Gara and shit and, like, the Raikage. Um, it gets crazy. And uh, Sasuke gives no shits about his own crew and leaves them all to die. That's wild. Uh, so we get to and Jugo, who are the two guys, get like trapped in the building. Um, and then outside, when Sasuke is fighting Donzo, Donzo takes Karin hostage, which is the girl who's like the healing mage. Yeah. Um, and then Sasuke the crazy just, about Sasuke. Yeah, the one who wants to fuck Sasuke really bad. Um, and then Sasuke is just like holds still, and then just like shoots a lightning bolt into her chest. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've definitely seen that. Why? That sounds so familiar. I can literally see all of that happen. Did you play the Storm games? Because that's where I got a lot of this. No. I've not that's... played a single Naruto game. The thing about Naruto is I've consumed it so secondhandly, I've never really done it in order. I think I might read the manga soon. But the way I understand Naruto is a combination of seeing some of the anime on TV and like on the internet over the years um, and playing the video games. <laughs> Understandable, though. So I, I mostly get Shippuden, where you as you have a great understanding of the original Naruto. I am not as familiar with it because it did not have as in depth of a game as the two, three, and four Storm games were for Shippuden. Yeah, makes sense. So I'm, I'm strongly familiar with like I didn't play all of four, so like my strong familiarity is from the beginning of Shippuden, which is like the Gara arc where he gets his one tails taken away um, to the like start of the great ninja war. And like, I, I know all the like really important stuff in the original Naruto. Like I know the Zabuza arc is the first one and there's the Chunin exams and the Gara arc. Um, and then they like fight Orochimaru and like the Akatsuki kind of. Um, and then the end is Naruto versus Sasuke. Which is a good fight. Dude, the fights in Naruto, that's that's what sells it. That's as a kid. Oh, 100%. That's, that's also how I how I consumed Naruto as a kid. The real way that I got a lot of it was just looking up like all the fights, like full fight on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so like I watched like Sasuke versus Itachi. A lot of it was Sasuke. Sasuke was my guy. Like, anytime there was a fight, a big fight with Sasuke in it, I was there. Like, Naruto versus Sasuke at the end of the original, and then, like, Sasuke versus Itachi, Sasuke versus Deidara, Sasuke versus Donzo. There's a, there's a pretty much, it happens in the anime, but, like, it's five seconds, whereas in the video game, it gets a whole boss fight. Um, it's, like, the confrontation between Naruto and Sasuke um near the end of the five kage summit arc 
um, where Sakura is going to kill Sasuke. Um, so she pretends to portray the Hidden Leaf Village. Um, and then Sasuke is like, you're full of shit and is going to kill her. Um, and then Kakashi saves her. Uh, Sasuke and Kakashi fight for a minute. And then Naruto jumps in. And then Sasuke's eyes start bleeding because his Sharingan is wearing off. So the anime, they don't really do much. Um, but in the game, they do like a whole boss fight with like a really pretty like music theme um, and like a flashback of like the two other fights. You can choose which one. That was one of the gimmicks of Ninja Storm 3 is like there would, there would be like two different paths in a fight. So like you would do the Naruto versus Sasuke like in the present and then you would go to the past and you could pick either their first fight in Shippuden or their fight at the end of the original. Dude, their uh, fight at the end of the original was so good. Yeah, that's like that's like classic Naruto, right? Like when you think of Naruto fight, it's that one. I I will say the pain arc fight, it's probably my favorite so far, just because that's the most recent, but it's also really, really good. What's weird is I remember like Ninja Storm 3 being my favorite, but I also could not tell you much about like anything past the five Kage Summit arc, which is like the beginning of Ninja Storm 3. And then there's like a whole thing that leads up to the beginning of the Great Ninja War that I really don't remember much of. I just remember <laughs> playing that one Sasuke fight like over and over again. Like I was obsessed with that Sasuke boss sequence like when I was younger. I actually remember there was a time where I had to go to science fair in seventh grade and you just had to like sit there for hours as they like went through every project. So I yeah. downloaded like the footage of that fight from like YouTube to my phone. And just, like, watched it on loop. <laughs> That's wild. In, like, seventh grade, I was just watching Sasuke vs. Naruto from Ninja Storm 3 at my science fair. Suffice to say, I've been into Naruto for a really fucking long time. That was one of my first forays into, like, Japan, besides, like, Sonic and Pokemon. Outside of Pokemon, I think, in terms of, like, anime, what I've watched, like... The first anime that I've ever actually watched was Dragon Ball. But I don't really consider that like what got me into anime. I just heard Dragon Ball and I was like, oh, Dragon Ball's pretty cool. I think I actually did like first I caught Naruto Shippuden on like Disney XD. Um and then and like original Naruto on like Toonami. Um and then I kinda caught Dragon Ball Z Kai and Dragon Ball GT on Nicktoons in like twenty twelve. Um, and that was the shit. That was epic. Dragon Ball I also consumed through the video games. I, did, I had Budokai Tenkaichi 2, which is pretty definitively, like, it tells a pretty deep retelling of the story of Z. Like, there's a lot of story missions and shit. Like, it's pretty in-depth. Yeah. They actually they actually scaled it back in Budokai Tenkaichi 3, which is why I'm one of the weirdos that prefers 2, because 2's story mode has, like, a lot more to it. Yeah, that's understandable, though. I mean, it makes sense. But, um, yeah, so I would stay up for, like, Saturday Night Live and stuff, because I, I didn't go to school on Sunday, so I would stay up. And uh, I eventually was like, dude, I remember Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball used to be so cool when I was younger. So, because this is back in, like, early high school days. So I'm watching, I fall asleep during Dragon Ball or whatever was before Dragon Ball. I wake up to uh, Kill a Kill, if you've heard of that before. Oh my god, what an origin story. Kill a Kill is the anime that got me into anime. And that and it and it's just been that ever since. That was my wanted, first just you wanted to either anime. Just because you wanted to either fuck B or both Ryoku Matoi. Both. Is Both. the correct answer. Yes, of course, of course. I do plan on doing a cosplay of her. Not transform, just the regular one, but I do plan on doing her at some point. That anime is very like sexy on purpose. Like it's oh, one yeah, of those. The storyline is so good though. Yeah, the storyline was so cool and the fights were so cool, but also it was like uh her weapon is a skimpy top that's also like drinking her blood or some shit. Yep. Um <laughs> and it's like this is weird. So, do you know the the band chick, Jacuzzi? From no, I've only seen like two episodes of Kill a Kill. 
Okay, so this this was my waifu for like so 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 long. Uh, she is now my background on my main monitor. Dude, I feel it. Dude, I love her. I would love to do a cosplay of her at some point in time. But tell the audience her just... name because I can't quite make it out. But non on Jacuzare. I see. I see. Pink-haired band girl. <laughs> ay, ay. And, you know, back in high school, that was like, g- give me mommy, please. <laughs> mommy, I mean, mommy, I mean. Sorry, mommy, sorry. Sorry, sorry, mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. But, like, for the longest time, she she was she was top girl. But uh, that quickly changed when I saw Your Lion April and then Kaori Miyazono took the top and has been reigning waifu for ah almost 10 years now i think <laughs> the only anime crazy i think the anime girls that get me are like mean girls because like the only two big waifus i can think of are like when i was watching sword art online i was really into suguha i think i brought her in in our waifu war way back when um and then Who's the other one I'm thinking of? Oh, um, I watched Toradora when I was a lot younger. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, <laughs> I love Toradora! I, I don't know if I ever finished it because I was so young, but like I watched a lot of it. Um, and uh, Ami Kawashima awakened something in me. It re- I, I think that's what really awakened my, my, mean, my mean girl attraction. I'm very attracted to mean girls, and Ami Kawashima might be the reason. Is that why you do podcasts with me? Because I bully you all the time? Is that why you do podcasts with Penguin? Because she bullies you too? (laughs) Oh my god, I don't want you to even imply that. That feels gross. (laughs) You don't want to say that. That implicates you two as groomers, bitch. Don't say that. Groom? What the fuck do you- what? That implicates you as- I was a baby when I met you. I was but a small babe. Ah, uh, you were but 18. a wee lamb. You were eighteen when I met you. You were an adult. Sure. You were an adult. I was sixteen, wasn't I? No. When pe- maybe when you met Penguin, I hopped in later. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was sixteen when I met Penguin. Back in twenty nineteen, you were seventeen nine? or eighteen. Seven. Seven. No, eighteen was twenty twenty. So nineteen was seventeen. Yep. 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 Look, it's not my fault that you solely attract women and trans girls. That's not my problem, Riley. That's your problem. It's just who I hang out with, I guess. I don't know. You got your own little harem going. You can take over the world. Well, she's one of the longest. She's She's been around for a long fucking time. It's been... Like four or five years, right? 2019 would be four years, yeah. Four years, yeah. Holy shit. We just passed the four four year mark, what, like a month ago? Congratulations. <laughs> you are winner. You won four years of podcasts. Four years coming up on, well, not coming up, but like next year will be five because that's how numbers work. What's the most emotional death in Naruto? There's a couple big ones. Jiraiya. Yeah, Jiraiya's probably the answer. As much as I've watched, is the only one that, like, will actively make me cry. I think Itachi got me. Itachi's okay. Itachi's sad, but, like, it didn't make me cry, though. It was just, like, the misunderstanding where Sasuke, like, killed the only person who truly loved him, besides Naruto. Um, but it was just, like really tragic that is fair but Naruto like, and Sakura I guess he does literally marry her so perhaps she also counts <laughs> but like Jiraiya though Jiraiya like sacrifice it, it was a full fucking it wasn't like a mercy killing it was a full sacrifice to make sure that people were safe for like just a little bit more time yeah that was crazy the pain arc goes considerably hard I wish I saw. I had a Naruto movie on DVD. I don't know where it went. Have you seen the movie Blood Prison? I've not seen any of the movies. 
uh, the the movies are really interesting because they're not canon, but they tell some really interesting stories. They always have like, first of all, they always have amazing visuals, and then they have like these interesting like characters and side stories. Um, like I think the second Shippuden movie, Bonds, was like a, uh, like you know how in like action cartoons and like superhero cartoons. They'll have like the reluctant villain team up episode where there's like a bigger threat and the heroes and the villains have to team up reluctantly. Uh yeah, the, yeah, it's like a classic trope that they do. They do that in that. They do that in Bonds. They do like a because that's when Sasuke was working for Orochi Maru. But they do like a there's a bigger threat and Naruto and Sasuke have to work together. It was pretty good. Sasuke in no, his classic, uh, like, white snake robe attire from early Shippuden. Oh, right. Sasuke outfits, the Sasuke fit. So the thing about the Sasuke fit, right, um, is the, the the best Sasuke is specifically Five Kage Summit, because, like, evil Sasuke at, like, the height of, like, his, like, villain arc, like, has this gray jacket. Um, and after the Five Kage Summit, he zips it up all, way, all the way to his neck. And he looks like a fucking nerd. But in the five Kage <laughs> Summit arc, he zips it, he sips it down like it's a V-neck, and it looks fucking rad. <laughs> that's, that's, that's peak Sasuke, is five Kage Summit fake V-neck <laughs> Sasuke. He had to look like a nerd in solidarity with his brother after he fucking exported his eyes. <laughs> he, he fucking did an eye swap with his dead brother. That's the wackest shit in Naruto. It's so whack. That Sasuke's eyes like fucking burn out and they're like, okay, let's let's brave rob your brother's eyes and just Dude, stick them the in there. The wackest shit is literally like Gage and I were having a conversation about this the other day. It's the fact that Naruto doesn't learn anything e- ever. He learns Shadow Clone Jutsu and Rasengan and then That's just all elaborates needs. on. <laughs> he gets his he'd listen you can't be a jack of all trades and expect to be a prodigy you have to be a master of something and he's the that's master it, of that's all he does. he's the master that's of calms and rasengan he and he builds on it over the course of time well he also gets like sage mode and like fox mode yeah but like in terms of like actual shit that he can do like jutsu he gets the, the that's it the good old Rasengan and Shadow Clones. <laughs> Have you ever seen the cute little OVA they did with Konohamaru? That was great. It was like one of the one of the bits in Naruto is that he never he never technically graduates past Genin. Like he never <sighs> properly passes the Chunin exams during the whole length of Naruto. Um, and there's a little OVA, like a little short, uh, where Naruto enters the Chunin exams to get to Chunin, um, and he fights Konohamaru in the finals uh and then he gets disqualified because he goes sage mode and sage jutsu is banned from the chunin exams so konohamaru beats naruto by default (laughs) and naruto is still again he i'm trying to find and then everybody in the village is like you're literally the strongest one actually so literally who cares what rank you are you could kick all of our asses And then he became the Hokage, the seventh Hokage. <laughs> I found the meme. I found the meme. Oh my god. Oh shit, meantime. Okay, so it's Sasuke and Naruto, but it's like Lisa and Bart Simpson. Yep. Uh Sasuke says, poor predictable Naruto, always using Rasengans and Shadow Clones. Naruto goes. Good old Rasengan Shadow Clones. Nothing beats Rasengan Shadow Clones. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> it's the only way. And Talk No Jutsu. Don't forget about his iconic Talk No Jutsu ability. I mean, th- he also taught himself uh, Sexy Jutsu as well. So, Sexy Jutsu is an uncomfortable topic in the year of our Lord 2023. It's not a comfortable topic. Why is that an uncomfortable topic? It's uncomfortable when Jiraiya is into it. The unfortunate, Uh creepy reality of Jiraiya and Master Roshi in the year 2023 is an unfortunate pill that I've slowly had to swallow. (laughs) 
and understand that Jiraiya and Master Roshi are pretty damn gross. I mean, yeah, but it's just just how it be. Yeah, it is just how it be, you know. How did Naruto... The the luckiest these kids get is how did the Naruto crew beat fucking Zabuza? Like, oh, they were way out of their Naruto. lead. They were way out of their league, bro. They could have been fucking cleaved. Sasuke got, like, needles all up in him. It was fucking raw. Oh, this dude? I didn't even remember this dude. Not gonna lie. Completely forgot about him. He's got big sword. And he'll get you with big sword. I guess Kakashi was there. He probably did a lot of the heavy lifting. But it's kind of wild that they survived. Because he was like a full level ninja murder guy. Yeah. Yeah. I do remember that now. And his assistant, who was a very pretty lady, who wasn't a lady at all, actually, was the secret. They did a joke. Oh, Haku. Yeah. Haku is very much a man. He, he him pronouns. Haku identifies with. Uh, but he seems like a very pretty ice lady. And Naruto thought that. And then he found out that wasn't true. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the erotic Zabuzan's Haku art that you sent in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing NSFW, folks, which makes it almost even worse that it's just like a genuine, beautiful moment being shared between <laughs> these two male characters that Kolochu just found and shared with me. Of course. I'm sitting on any anytime I I always pull up uh Google for this podcast. Always. Anytime you can be gay on the podcast, you have to seize that opportunity. One hundred percent. Trying to think of more Naruto topics to discuss. I guess, who's your favorite character? Because I think I've made it painfully obvious that mine is Sasuke. What's yours? You know, probably either Itachi or Jiraiya. Both very good choices. Or Kisame. Kisame's pretty cool. Shark Boy. Kisame, does he matter much? He seems like a very much a side. Yeah, but his character. design is cool. His sword is fucking dope. He does also have the shark sword, which is pretty fucking cool. But, like, other than that, I don't remember if he does much, but... Who's your favorite side character? I know there's not a lot of side characters, but, like... What is, like, the criteria for such a thing? Team 7 are main characters, everybody else is side characters. Oh, okay. Uh, in that case, my favorite side character is probably, like guy yeah that's fair yeah that's a side at least considerably like i know everybody's a main character but i have very i have very strong childhood memories of the little baby like uh naruto spinoff rock lee and his ninja pals so based on that i have nostalgia attachment to rock lee i just i, I watched that I remember there was like a week or two i stayed with like my dad at his very short-lived girlfriend's house um, and I had her laptop. She just let me like play with it during the night. Um, and I would stay wild. up really late. That's um, wild and very, very. <laughs> I'd stay up really late and I'd watch that. I think whatever my... I was just talking about, I watched that. Rock Lee and his Ninja Pals. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Dragon Ball Z Bridge. That was the combo. Those are the two things I was watching at the time. I was watching Rock Lee and his Ninja Pals on fucking Hulu. Back when Hulu was a free website if you used ads. I do remember that, yeah. It's pretty rad. Naruto's a cool franchise. I think my favorite non-main character, I don't want to say side <laughs> character anymore because that seems rude. Uh, it would have to be Kiba and Akamaru. Oh, doggo, doggo man is pretty damn good. Doggo boy, doggo, doggo boy. boy, especially in OG, especially in OG Naruto, where it's just a tiny little puppy. He's a tiny little pup. Well, I like that he's a tiny little puppy, and then he has a like Clifford the Big Red Dog type growth arc <laughs> in between Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. Kiba loved him enough, and he grew big. His heart grew three sizes, and the rest of him also grew three sizes. Alt two. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, Kiba and Akamaru are pretty cool. Uh, Minato is cool as fuck, dude. I dude, love Minato. Me. Fucking he he zips and zaps around. He's pretty good. God, there's one video I need to show you, and it's really fucking 
funny, and Gage and I reference it all the time. But I will have to find it and send you the link at some point. But what is the video? Uh, it's Minato going after the Nine Tails. Yeah, it's like funny animated. Oh, okay. I remember Naruto Bridge. That was the weird part of the internet I was around for. You remember that shit? Naruto? See, I didn't get into Naruto until I until like after college. I watched like when I was a younger guy, I would watch like every abridged series available of every series ever. Um one of the sleeper hits, one of the like oldies, is Naruto Abridged, uh, which was made by Masako X, who's the guy who voices Goku and Gohan in Dragon Ball Z Abridged. And uh Vegeta 3986, who was also part of Team Four Star, but only for like the first ten episodes. They made a Naruto Bridge series for a while. And that shit was like part of my younger childhood. It was part of my for- formative years. Remember the the one joke, the like running joke that they would always bring up, and it was so funny to me, a twelve year old boy, um, was they had like these summoning jutsu characters that weren't real, that were just like shitty edits. Like there was there was Clucky the Chicken was Naruto's summon. Uh, <laughs> and and Sasuke had the log, which was just the substitution jutsu. But he got he he could he fought a log and the log beat him in a fight. It was a tragic tale. And that's what was entertaining to young man Riley. Who's your favorite villain? Oh, that's a good ass question. There's a lot of villains. I guess by the end, I think overall Sasuke doesn't count, um, and neither really does Itachi. You can tell I have kind of a new Chiha obsession. Um, I'm not a big fan of Madara though, so I'm not gonna say him. Madara or Obito, um, I'd probably say, hmm, maybe shit. Maybe Zabuza, honestly. Like, if I'm being real with myself, like, I think one of the most iconic Naruto fights in history is the Zabuza fight. Um, And Zabuza is a very good and threatening villain with a big sword. Um, I think he's probably the ideal Naruto villain to me personally, so I'll go with Zabuza. Interesting. Okay. I really think it's between Pain and Itachi just because of their backstories. And how like fair. severely tragic they are. Like when you hear about the backstory behind Itachi, like when you first meet Itachi and you hear what he did, you're like, "Wow, what a piece of shit!" And then you hear his backstory, you're like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." <laughs> There's a lot of tragedy in Naruto. Um, There's so much tragedy. Itachi's like, Itachi's formative years with Obito and Rin. Ooh, that was some boy. rough shit. Where Obito gets fucking crushed and gives Kakashi one of his eyes. But then he secretly survives and shit. And that's the end of the arc is when Obito was the bad guy the whole time. He's come for his revenge because Kakashi killed Rin for some reason that I don't quite know. Because I haven't gotten quite that far. Yeah, I don't. I I don't know. I I haven't seen that much that far ahead. But like. I I knew uh, Obito wasn't dead, so that that was another spoiler for it, too. Look, I've been spoiled on a lot of Naruto. (laughs) I mean, like, who really cares at the end of the day? Look, Naruto's been out for how long now? A thousand years. A hundred thousand years. Cavemen were watching original Naruto. When did you put an end? Like, 2015? It's been a long time. I honestly have no idea. I just had DVDs for a lot of its dub run, so... I want to collect DVDs, I think. It ended in 2016. Okay. And Boruto happened. They did a Boruto after that. And then they're gonna do Zorito. I got I, I read like a like screen rant news article about the latest chapter of Boruto. Um and whatever the fuck's going on right now actually sounds pretty cool. Dude, Boruto's wild, dude. It it's are you, like are you into it? Are you like caught up or no 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 okay. I'll watch Boruto later. Um 
But like, from what I understand, Baruto is a mix of Naruto and Deku. <laughs> yeah, it's the, from what I've heard, it's not great. But this part, do you mind if I spoil this thing I read on Screen Rant for Boruto? Go spoil all of Baruto, because I still I will refuse to watch Baruto until I watch all of Naruto. I still have yet to watch all of it's Naruto. Just a, it's just a small part. It's not a lot of Boruto. It's just one small aspect. Um, so I guess whatever's going on in the manga right now, the whole Hidden Leaf Village is under, like, a genjutsu that makes them think that Boruto, like, betrayed them. Um, and they're all trying to, like, get him. Um, but then Sarada, Sasuke's daughter, breaks out of the genjutsu. Yeah. Um, and she goes to convince her father, convince Sasuke, that Boruto is innocent. And, like, it's this cool character thing because... Sasuke is still under the Genjutsu. He still is convinced he has memories of Boruto betraying the village, but he's like, because my daughter trusts him, I'm gonna help him. That's wild. So that that sounds crazy, and that's also peak Sasuke, where it's just like, yeah, if my daughter's gonna say that this is what's going on, I'm gonna do what I need to do. See, the other thing that's wild about Boruto... Is that Orochimaru is just kind of hanging around now? I heard about that. I don't know much about Boruto and its proceedings. Like, I don't know. Did we lose him? Who? Oh, there he is. What? I didn't hear you say anything. No, I'm still here. I'm checking. Oh, okay. Yeah, Orochimaru's got like a kid now, I think. Yeah, he does have a have a babe now. Uh, chilled. Where's the one fucking picture? I There's one screen cap from Barto, and I could be wrong, and I'm trying to figure it out. A lot of what I hear about Boruto is just like a clickbait that isn't true about Naruto or Sasuke dying, like literally every week. Fuck. I gotta, I gotta piss real bad. Be right back. The silence is gonna cut. It's gonna be so magical for the listeners. I think that uh, media with satanic imagery like Naruto and Pokemon and Harry Potter should be stopped. Parents of America, we have to team up against <laughs> against satanic imagery in our in our children's entertainment. What are you talking about? Naruto is clearly from the devil, you see, Kolochu. Naruto is the Bible compared to some of the other anime that have been released. Naruto is a pure Christian story. <laughs> about a pure Christian ninja boy. He just wants to forgive Sasuke for his sins. And bring him back to the word of God. Look, there's so many more raunchier fucking anime out there that would make Christians completely be like, oh, 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 I'm going to hell for this. I need to go, I need to go reconcile need to go with the priest immediately. cleanse uh, the, uh, this moment in time right now. Like, there's literally, it's called, uh, I'm going to completely fucking butcher this, but it's called Ishijo Re Reviewers or something like that. Two dudes are in, like, and are in the anime world, and they're just like, you know what? We're gonna review all. We're gonna re review sex with all the different species of the world, and they just go fucking do it. <laughs> wow, they they just go fucking do it, and I think that's so fucking funny that they literally made anime about it. There's literally a full fucking anime about them just going around and just having sex all day. That's just, it. Just fucking different species. Yeah, just fucking different species for no reason. They're all amp anthropomorphic, so it's not like human on dog bullshit. It's like an it's silly anime. It's silly. Yeah, anime we're not. We're not, we're not talking about uh, standard white women fair here when we're talking about different no. species. We're talking anime species. There was a news story that popped up on my Twitter feed about a white girl fucking a dog. Just, just history continues to repeat itself. 
history will continue to repeat itself exactly. I saw like a video clip about a woman like openly admitting to fucking her dog in like an interview. It was like it was shot like with like a really cringe like TikTok interview. Um and this girl is telling this like disgusting story about how her her boyfriend caught her cheating on him with her, his dog. <laughs> dude, that's that's fucking wild, dude. <laughs> I don't understand that people like something about white women, I don't know. It's one of the great mysteries of our time. Another great mystery? Who's the strongest Naruto character? Oh. Probably Naruto, if I had to guess. If I had to make an assumption. I don't know. That's tough. Cause, if like, I were a betting man, be Naruto. Because, like, there's Naruto. There's also Mini- Minato. True, but he's like dead, and he's been dead for a long time, so he's probably pretty weak, actually. Dude, that's my one gripe with fucking Naruto, is nobody, everybody was in agreement. They're just like, you know what? Fuck Naruto. Fuck Naruto, fuck Naruto. Fuck We're not gonna tell him little kid. kid. I'm gonna kill him. Fuck We're this gonna... little kid. We're gonna lynch this little boy. He's gonna be a complete outcast. Nobody talks to him. Nobody likes him. He is a complete outcast. Do we tell him about his dad and how his dad was the fourth Hokage? Absolutely not. Fuck the Hokage. Absolutely the fuck not. No. (laughs) But like when he finds out, everybody's like, yeah, yeah. We knew that the whole time, actually. They're like, yeah, uh, yeah, we knew that. And he's like, why didn't you tell me? They're like, we don't know. Oh. (laughs) <laughs> it's like well, why don't be a bitch about it <laughs> like get it together but like I can understand like he's an outcast because he's got the nine tails in him and people don't want to talk to him because he's dangerous or whatever like I get that in original once he grows up and he's like training on Jiraiya, under Jiraiya like one of the greatest shinobi to ever live um, I think by that point, he's pretty beloved. And then, like, some things happen, but, like, overall, he gains a positive reputation around the ninja world. But, like, but, like why, why, why did nobody fucking tell him at all? Because they think, I bet a lot of them figured they already knew. It just wasn't relevant information. I don't know. I just, I feel like that's frustrating as fuck, but. <laughs> Naruto is weird. I feel like Naruto has a lot of very weird plot holes that will never be truly explained. I love Naruto, though. It's super cool when they do the Rasengan and the Chidori. That's that's how you determine what type of person you are. Do you prefer the Rasengan or the Chidori? Shadow Clone. It's not a viable answer. It is a viable answer. Look, I the Chidori is cool. I asked your preference between two Jutsus. And you I gave think me a Rengan is cooler. I like Rasengan. I'm and Chidori. But. I'm a big Chidori guy. I like the lightning hand. And the lightning sword. The Chidori blade attack. That shit is raw. Shippuden Sasuke when he gets his sword. Which suits him a lot. It's weird. I guess that was like. That was what the time skip did for Sasuke. As he went and he learned how to sword real good. Pretty rad. It's pretty metal. Dude, I still can't get get over the fucking the goddamn fucking one meme. Where is it? One. Good old Rasengan and Shadow Clones. (laughs) Ah, yes, of course, of course. But that's um, how we overcome every situation: is Rasengan and Shadow Clones. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing beats nothing beats Rasengan Shadow Clones. The Naruto's tai, what is it taijutsu? Fucking terrible fighting with his hands. I think he I think he got pretty good with that over time. Yeah, but like early on, dude gets his ass beat every fucking. Oh yeah, he's he's pathetic early on. <laughs> he's pathetic he's with every baby. Early on. He's the shitty little boy, and Sasuke is like, I'm awesome, and you will respect. You'll put some respect on my name. And then he kills Zabuza single-handedly. Is how I remember it. I don't know. 
Sasuke actually gets tactically disabled by several needles into his flesh by Haku is how he gets out of that fight. So not quite as triumphant as I'm trying to sell it. Yeah. But uh, are we are we comfortable calling it here? Is there any other glaring Naruto topics? Let's see. We're at like an hour. We could probably call it here if you'd like. It is 11 o'clock at night. All right, gamers. Well, thank you for listening to our Naruto episode. Uh, it's pretty... You should check us out. You should email us. At think... college 54 at gmail.com. Yes, but there might also be a detour ahead email in the description. That might also be real. Why do you have a um, detour ahead email? Because <laughs> I had to make a detour ahead uh, anchor page so that we could put the podcast up. Um, but understandable. Yeah, tell us what you want us to talk about, and then we'll do it. We'll do that if you want us to. Uh, Kolochi, where can our listeners find you? You can find me on YouTube as Kolochi54. Me and my friends did a phasmophobia what? episode. You can find me on Twitter as Kolochi54. That's what I said. You said YouTube, Twitter, 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 Twitter. Twitter, 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 Twitter. You can find me on Twitter as Colochu54. You can find me on YouTube as Colochu. At Colochu. Hey, everybody. You can head over to my Twitter at Riley Tweets. Uh, there is a link tree. Uh, that's linktr.ee slash Riley Cinematic Universe. There's a pinned tweet with that link. Uh, and that is all my stuff. That's R I E L Y Cinematic Universe. Uh, you should check it out. Uh, it's got links to all the shows that I do, uh, my Twitch and my YouTubes and all that business. Uh, shout out to my boy Megazord Radio, new Power Rangers podcast every week, two episodes of Power Rangers. It's been pretty rad so far. Uh, and yeah, thank you for listening. I've been Riley. I have been Kolochu. We'll see you next week. Bye.